Las Vegas is a vibrant city in the state of Nevada, known for its world-famous casinos, extravagant hotels, and lively nightlife. It's also a hub for the vibrant Filipino community in the United States. With over 100,000 Filipinos living in the city, they've made a remarkable impact by bringing their distinctive culture, traditions, and mouth-watering cuisine to the mix. From attending lively festivals to trying out authentic Filipino cuisine and local restaurants, Filipinos have enriched Las Las Vegas diverse and dynamic character. Their influence serves as a reminder that Las Vegas is not only a flashy destination, but also a melting pot of cultures. In today's vlog, I will show you some of the Filipino restaurants here in Las Vegas. Today is gonna be my food trip day. I know how everybody loves to watch foodie vlogs and all that stuff. I know I do because I love to eat. So today I'm gonna try to feature some of the Filipino owned restaurants here in Vegas. Pupunta ngayon tayo kay Mang Felix. Si Mang Felix is actually a mixture of Vietnamese and Filipino food. So they serve mga Vietnamese egg rolls, Filipino yeah. spring rolls. Meron din sila ng karekare, oh. oxtail soup. Wow, parang masarap yung oxtail soup. So we just ordered our lunch for today here in Felix. By the way, this is Jen and that's I'm, Linda over there. And I'm the official food trip partner, food trip partner. here in Vegas. So as per the recommendation of uh, the owner of the restaurant, of course, we are in uh, Mang Felix. Ang order po namin is oxtail soup. I love oxtail soup. Uh, we also have pares pares, which is their specialty here. In uh, Mang Felix, and yes. pa in order natin? We got the chicharon bolakla. Because we wanna stay young, ayan. <laughs> <laughs> Forever <laughs> young talaga yan. And At then uh, ano the ba? soft shell crab. Soft shell crab. Because they have a combination of Vietnamese and Filipino. Ah. Actually, I've only been here once. And I remember the last time I was here, and dami daming tao, punung punung yeah. talaga to. And when I asked about Filipino, successful Filipino owned restaurants, Ang, ang parating uh, nababanggit, yung common restaurant na nababanggit is really Mang Felix. Ko ba, Linda? Madalas ka ba dito? No, this is my first time. I'm my fir eh, first timer. She just moved here from I Texas. Here. Oh, I didn't Last know week. that. Last week? Yeah. Sobrang virgin si Linda sa Vegas. I am virgin. <laughs> So I was start as a dishwasher 2009 sa Pinoy Pinay. All around, it's not just dishwasher tagasando. Tapos yung misis ko sa salo-salo and fiesta Filipina din ako. Nagpart-time ako lahat diyan. Nung nag-start ako sa Pinoy Pinay, parang nakita ko halos yung fast food turo-turo. Sabi ko kay misis nung namit ko siya sa salo-salo. 
gusto ko magbukas ng restaurant, gusto ko naman magbigay ng pride sa Pilipino, magbukas tayo ng sit down. Kasi yun ang kulang sa Vegas, tama? Yeah. I'm working on it sa franchise ko ngayon. Uh, hopefully this year matapos. Kasi may, may, nag, may waiting ako sa Texas, sa LA dalawa, one sa Chicago. Oh, Tsaka sa, wow. sa San Francisco, may isa ako yeah, yeah. So, yun ang goal ko matapos yung franchise ko this year. So. so now we are having, I think, dessert somewhere else. Okay, and this restaurant happens to be, well, one of the places that we frequent. Why? Kasi type na type ko yung ano nila, manager, ano ba tawag sa kanya? Front, front desk manager? Hindi ko na rin alam. Ang cute-cute na ito. Ang daming tao. Hi! Ang gwapo ng manager. Grabe. We will wait our turn. So we didn't get... We, I didn't ask for reservations. We are right now here in Truffles and Bacon. Bawal po ang diet dito sa restaurant. So, sir, there's a, we want a table for three. I sort of called earlier, but I didn't make reservations. Wow, ang bait naman. Malakas tayo sa manager. Malakas tayo sa manager. Hi! <laughs> so yeah, I'm featuring uh, Filipino-owned restaurants here in Vegas. So I said, oh, I have to go to Truffles in Vegas, no? <laughs> Thank you so much. Here I am. Can you scan the QR code for the menu? Oh, thank, thank you so you, much. Kuapo naman ng server. Grab it. So, what are their specialties? The Truffles and Bacon Cafe. They have set up breakfast. They have the big breakfast. Bangers and hash. Eggs. French toast. Oh my God. Mahili ko sa French toast. Ang sarap niyan. French toast. With passion fruit, maple syrup, buttermilk pan, uh, waffle, and then they have their pork belly omelette. At kung ano ano pa, surf and turf, steaks and eggs. So the specials today we have the wagyu pastrami omelet. It comes with a sauteed spinach, grilled onions, Swiss cheese. We drizzle that with our homemade Thousand Island. Then you get hash browns and you try some toast. I have the bougie burger, which is a seven ounce Angus beef patty. Production. Greens, tomatoes, a little bit of garlic aioli. We add a scoop of our homemade lobster salad and then we top it off with the crispy prosciutto. And lastly, I have the mango mochi pancakes. Oh, and one more thing we have the lobster mac and cheese, lobster meat, bacon, tomatoes, a little bit of green onions. We crumble sky flakes on top and then we drizzle truffle oil. Diba? Wow. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Busy, busy. Busy, busy. So this is a simple tart. It's stuffed with uh, pepperoncinis, and then it also has bacon jam. So it's diced bacon sauteed in maple syrup. It has a little bit of onions, and then we drizzle it with chipotle ranch. Let's take. I like the peppers. I thought my own way to be sure. Bacon, but uh -huh. everything? Awesome. very Thank good. So very good. Okay. Thank you. The bar. It's just ripe. Tamasha. Mmm. Sarap. 
No bread food. I'm a bread pudding fan. Eh. Uh-huh. Masarap yung bread pudding with the bacon. Nagano no, naglaban yung yeah. taste. So good. Magnolia is uh, one of the special people that's behind truffles and bacon. Almost ten years. Ten years, yeah. same location. No, so we've been here nine years, and then previous to that, we were in another location inside an antique market. So it oh. was very small. Small. So that's where we started. It was actually the Twitter account name of Chef. So when we started, oh, we were from okay. New York. So in okay. New York, we wanted to open a restaurant, but it was so expensive and parang walang character in Vegas. But oh really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he kept like dripping and dripping. Mm. So we found out oh, no, there's life okay, outside naman. of the uh-huh. strip. Uh-huh. When we were planning a restaurant in New York, we had a plan. We had a vision of how we wanted it. 30 seats, we want hardwood floors, we want it inside um, a, a place that has a lot of character. And what more can you get with uh, character inside a, an antique market? So when you were in the antique market, did it did truffles and bacon look like this? No, it's 30 seats long, small. Uh-huh. So our, and our menu was a little bit different. different. It's, it's very small menu. So when we started that, when I saw the hardwood floors, it was... It was a good chance for us to experiment what the Vegas market was like because it's very different from what we're used to in New York. So hi everyone. Today I get to feature this Filipino-based um, restaurant here in Las Vegas. Yes. Amix happens to be one of them. Amix serves Filipino dishes, and I think on weekends, like today, today is Sunday right now here, uh, they get to serve or they serve uh, our favorite lechon. So why don't you come in inside? I'm gonna try Amix for the very first time. Let's see how yummy their food is. Here we are. Hi, hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Oming. Nice to meet you. Hi. Oh, you're Oming. Oming, hi. So thank you for having us today. Yes. Excited to try your food. Ooh, we get to go inside the kitchen. I like your other girl. Thank you, girl. Hello, Pa. Hi, hi. Ito ang mga kagagwapong mga cook dito sa Oming's. They have a signature sauce. I think you have to put all of it. My heart is into this business. It's, okay. it's the only thing I have. So I think about everyone. I think about the customer. I wanted to show the... I'm from Dumaguete. Okay. I wanted to show our food to everyone here in the U.S. In the U.S. So we started as a food truck. 99% of our customers before were non-Filipinos. Oh, wow. So we're okay. non-Filipinos. During the pandemic, that's when we captured the Filipino community. You are working your way to your second branch, right? Yes, we're opening on March 20. Ah, yeah. Um, yeah. Ang galing we're naman. also inside the Allegiant Stadium. Oh, gal- that big stadium. Yes, for, so for Super Bowl, we will be there. Congratulations, yes, Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So your sleepless nights are worth it. You're very successful yes. now. To franchise. To franchise. That is, that is the ultimate goal for us to franchise. Okay. So, malay nyo po, makikita nyo little omings, not just in Las Vegas, but all over the West Coast first, and hopefully all over the U.S. Yes. Tama ba ko? And I couldn't have done it without everyone here. Ayan. So, so to Oming and of course the whole staff, the team behind Oming, congratulations. And we're gonna so enjoy your food in a while. Hello, hi. Ano pong in order nyo? Oh wow. 
all healthy. I love it. <laughs> it's a Sunday. I will order the same thing. Thank you. See you po. This is the pork belly Berry. with yeah, the so chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy! Look at yummy, this. Yummy, and it's yummy. big portions. Huh? Look at that. Uh, Let's dig in. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank you, Dory. Thank you, Omi. Okay, this is a lot. Let's go. Good morning. And for the price, it's not bad because ang daming laman. This is how they really serve it. Madaming potahe talaga. Ano yung madaming gula, madaming. No bola. I was telling her. I, I told her my favorites. Kasi nga breakfast eater ako. So I like it. I like the tapa. The casino. I'm not normally a casino fan, but this is really good. And the uh, long. And, and the. Uh, that has become a favorite. This is really good. So happy. So next time I visit you, Siguro, it's on the second branch now. Thank you for tuning in to discover some of the best Filipino-owned restaurants in Las Vegas. From the delicious and savory dishes to the welcoming and hospitable atmosphere, these restaurants are more than just places to eat. They are a celebration of the vibrant Filipino culture that has left a mark on this lively city. Whether you're a foodie or simply craving authentic Filipino cuisine, these restaurants have got you covered. So don't hesitate to swing by and savor the flavors of the Philippines and Las Vegas. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Thank you for watching. Till our next vlog.